This video will show you how to play the 24 game. The goal of the game is to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to make 24 using all four numbers on each card. If you take a look at the corner of each card, you will notice a dot or two or three. These dots represent the level of difficulty. One dot is an easy card, two dots represent the medium level cards, and three dots are the difficult cards. These dots also tell you how many points you earn for that card. You can solve each card using three equations. Let's take a look at this first card together. Remember, you have to use all four numbers. You can only use each number one time, and you can use the operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So first off, we can multiply five times three, which equals 15. Next, we can take the product 15, add the other five, and get a sum of 20. For our last step, we will take the sum of 20 and we will add the last number, 4, and that will equal 24. Many cards have more than one solution. Take a look at the same card, but look at a different way that you can reach 24. You can first take both 5's, multiply 5 times 5 to equal 25. You can subtract 4 minus 3 to get 1, and last, 25 minus 1 equals 24. Let's take a look at this next card. Notice the 9 and the 6. To tell the difference between the two, the 9 is shaded. Now go ahead and look at these four numbers and see if you can come up with a solution. Feel free to pause before the answers are revealed. You can solve this card by using addition. 9 plus 3 equals 12, 6 plus 6 equals 12, and 12 plus 12 equals 24. Take a look at this card. Remember, the 9s are shaded. Pause if you would like more time. One strategy that is sometimes helpful in solving 24 cards are finding the factors of 24. Take a look at the T-chart. There are four factor pairs that you can use to help get 24. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So looking at your four numbers, if you can try to get one factor of 24, try to use the remaining numbers to get the other factor of 24. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Looking at this example, I can first subtract 9 minus 6 to get 3. So now I have 3, so I need to think 3 times 8 equals 24. So I need to look at my remaining numbers, 7 and 1, and think, can I get the number 8? And absolutely, we can add 7 plus 1 to get 8. Then we multiply our two factors, 8 times 3, to get 24. Take a look at this card and see if you can use factors to get the number 24. Pause if you would like more time to solve. One solution to this card would be using the factors 4 and 6. You can get the number 4 by subtracting 7 minus 3, and you can get the factor 6 by adding 4 plus 2. Then multiply the factors 6 times 4 to get 24. Let's take a look at one more card. Now notice the difficulty of this card. It is a level 3, which is the most difficult. Go ahead and take a minute and see if you can solve this. Pause if you would like more time. One solution to this card is first subtracting 8 minus 4 equals 4. Next, multiply 7 times 
the other four, which equals 28, and then subtract the two numbers. 28 minus four equals 24. Now that you know the goal of the game, let's take a look at what play in the game would look like. First off, you can practice cards individually, or you can play in groups of two to four. Make sure all the cards are facing the same way. Look at the center square to see what side it is on. So looking at the examples below, make sure all your cards are either have red on top or all the cards have white on top. Place all the cards stacked in the center of the group. Each student will quietly think of a solution to reach 24. And once the player has a solution, the player will tap the card and share the equations used to solve. If the player is correct, he or she holds on to the card until the game is over. If you run out of cards, you could collect them and flip them over to the other side and continue playing. Be sure to record all the player's points by adding the dots on the cards. I hope you enjoy this game. It is one of my favorites. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. That fun teacher.